folk tale claims that centuries ago, a monkey could travel the whole length of Luzon without ever having to climb down from the trees. Of course, most of these trees have been cut down and forests are now concrete jungles. But in some remote regions of the Sierra Madre mountain range, large tracts have remained intact through time. This lost world of the Sierra Madre offers a fascinating doorway to our prehistoric past. A thousand feet above the mountain passes, the huge expanse of rainforest extends as far as the eye can see. This is the North Sierra Madre Nature Park, the last great wilderness frontier of Philippine wilderness. The park sprawls over 250,000 hectares of primary forest located in the rugged mountainous terrain of Palanan, Isabela. Sitting on the northeastern side of Luzon, Palanan is hemmed in by 5,000 foot mountains in the east and the Pacific in the west. The quickest way to Palanan is by plane. It is also the best way. For it is while soaring a thousand feet over the landscape that one gets to appreciate the isolation that has kept Palanan's natural beauty untouched over the years. The first thing that strikes a visitor in Palanan is the absence of motor vehicles. Living horsepower is still the practical way of going around town. There are no telephone and electrical poles to clutter the view. Residents survive in the barest of amenities. But what citizens lack in creature comforts is more than made up for by the absence of pollution and stress. The best way to get around Palanan is by boat along the Palanan River. The water is sweet and clean and the view along the shore is refreshing. The Palanan River empties into the Palanan Bay, the first open corridor to the vast expanse of the Pacific. As the boat nears the coastline, the forests of the Sierra Madre make their welcome. Inside the forest, the air is wet and humid, but the view is breathtaking. Itong kagubatan na ito, isa ito sa masabit ng hottest uh, biodiversity area sa buong mundo. Sa sampung uh, biodiversity areas sa buong mundo, ang palanan ay sa loob ng lima. Masabi nating hottest spot, marami mga puno ng mga halaman at mga hayop na nakikita lamang sa lugar na ito. Dr. Robert Arano is the executive director of the northeast region of the North Sierra Madre Park. The park is partly managed by Plan International, a privately funded international organization. Sa ngayon, dito sa ating paligid, masasabi natin na may mga tatlong daan sa ating paligid lang ng mga species. Po sa buong uh, parke, masasabi natin may mga apat o limang libong klaseng halaman. Carabao logging is a daily activity in the remote forest communities. Here, as in most rural areas, poverty is the worst enemy of nature. Juna Pines is a farmer with eight kids to feed. His kainin plot yields only one poor harvest a year, so he turns to the forest to supply his needs. Sa isang araw, dalawang hila lang kami, apat na kahoy. Hanggang sa isang linggo, baka nakakasampu kami. Ngayon. Ay, kung ilang borpita nalabasan, hindi yun ang pinikita namin. Gumagamit ang mga tao ng chainsaw o yung lugari na di makinarya. Itong mga chainsaw na ito, mahal ito, Mga 30 mil ang isa, ang nag-finance nito ay mga tagalabas, mga dayuhan sa lugar na ito. Kala mga pumuputol ay yung mga taga rito. The local government of Isabela is seriously floating plans to develop the area and sell it to rich Taiwanese investors. The only way to lure in progress is to build roads through the heart of the Sierra Madre Mountains. It doesn't take much imagination to realize the damage this will do to Palanan's ancient heritage of forests. Okay, we open the road, there will be economic progress. But definitely, the money people outside will displace the people who have been staying in the locality. And that has happened in several places in the world, not only in the Philippines. Environmentalists say the stakes are simply too high when making a choice between progress and the preservation of nature. The bottom line, they say, is this. Progress comes at the cost of the treasure that is Palanan. Kung pabayaan po natin, lalo na ito sa Palanan, na ito na lang pinakamalaki na hindi pa nagalaw, ay wala na talaga. 
wala na talaga so yung posisyon ng ating gobyerno at ng mga tao kailangan magkaisa kasi wala na sa ibang lugar kung mangyari pa dito yung mga darating natin mga kabataan ano ba ang masasabi na sa kanila pinabayaan natin sa ating panahon na sana sa kanilang panahon ay nakikita rin nila